Good evening from Peterson's Farm in Nashville, and today we're going to be working on the yard cart XLT YS200. Let me show you what's going on here. As you can see, if you look at the tires, the right side looks like it's veering out to the right. The left is straight on. So we're having a little bit of a having a little bit of a uh, tire alignment issue, it looks like. So let's get this thing up in the air, utilizing the swing set and the uh, front winch. I'll show you. So it seems like the chickens want to help. But anyway, I laid out some cable on the front winch. And the idea here is to get enough to lift it up. utilizing the swing set. Alrighty. Let's hope it stays. Okay. Seems like the root of the problem is this tie rod end. It looks like it's adjustable. This one looks like normal, but if you look at this side, it looks like somebody has possibly worked on it in the past and didn't get it adjusted back correctly, or I hope it's not the case. It could be no good in coming out, stripping. So let's find out which it really is. We're gonna remove this castle nut. Lefty loosey, righty tidy, unless you're upside down. And it's righty loosey. Wow. There we go, popped out. There's another washer there. I wonder why. All right. So as you can see, I think somebody just didn't adjust it correctly the last time, but that's how far approximately how far off we are. About half an inch. It's reverse threads. All right, that's probably way too much. If you want to be a little more exact, you can take tape measure and measure a couple of places on the underside. It looks like 35 and a half. Yeah, it's about 35 and a half to the inner sidewall, to the sidewall. Yeah, it's about the same. We're in good shape. All right. Go ahead and put these uh, washers on and the nut. Like so. <clears throat> All 
net back on here. I'm gonna go ahead and just take this over to the side of that collar. And for some reason, you gotta remember, it was reverse threads, regular automotive. We're gonna go ahead and just adjust. Well, that one's already adjusted all the way over there. So that even lends itself to me thinking somebody's worked on this front end before. Okay, folks. <coughs> Let's go ahead and let her down. Me a little slack there. Oh. <coughs> Let's go ahead and get this. Okay, friends, family, and future generations, thanks for stopping in today. That was uh, adjusting the uh, tie rod end on the uh, YS200 XLT yard cart. So glad, uh, hope you got something out of it, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Pretty simple fix, but you can do it yourself. We do, these, we do these kind of things around Peterson's Farm of Nashville so that you can enjoy today and understand now in the future.